Logo badges or letterings can be created very well with a 3D printed template. A positive and a suitable negative counterform are printed out in the 3D printer. The two templates have matching holes that were also printed out. Screws are placed into these holes. A suitably drilled metal sheet blade is placed into the sandwich and then closed. It is best to place this package on a suitable anvil. It may be that the form still bends outwards, since the sheet between the two forms still prevents the halves from fitting exactly in another. In the next step, the surface of the mold is tapped with a smoothing hammer. The flat smoothing hammer spreads the driving impact over a large area. With 3D printing, it's important that the load-bearing layer is not too thick, but remains flexible, otherwise the mold would break. We tried a few filaments and ended up with PLA. Only PLA has the necessary hardness to transfer the details to the sheet metal. We'll show the results later with other plastics like nylon and PETG. The mold is not only driven in one place, but on the entire surface. You can see very well on the mold where you have already driven the shape, since the relief of the logo and the lettering clearly stands out on the thin carrier layer. If you're not sure whether the hustle and bustle was sufficient, you can easily loosen the screws and look inside the sandwich. Thanks to the precise fitting bracket, the sheet metal will lie precisely back again. At the end, the mold is open completely and the sheet metal is removed. You can see clearly the desired logo relief. If you look closely to the details, you can see that the drawing has been transferred down to the very last detail. To test another complex logo, we printed out two plates in different materials. Firstly, a plate in nylon with normal resolution and a plate with high resolution in PETG. The nylon print lacked fine details from the start. The PETG mold is too soft. The driven sheet metal caused pinching at the edges of the mold and the material gave up. The small subtleties have been broken out of the mold. PLA is much more stable here and can be used for several times.